in the previous few lectures we have discussed in very detail the clean gordon equation actually clean gordon equation you know is a relativistic uh, wave equation but uh, there is a very important limitation of this clean gordon equation you have studied that uh, the particle like uh, an electron cannot be described in terms of clean gordon equation because you know electron is a half spin particle but you have learnt that clean gordon equation is applicable only for the particles having zero spin okay and that's why uh, the utility or or you can say the application of clean gordon equation is very limited okay so uh, due to this uh, difficulties with the clean gordon equation in 1962 dirac formulated an equation which actually avoids the difficulties which arises uh, in the clean gordon equation okay in fact the basic uh, demand was that the equation the relativistic uh, wave equation must be lorentz invariant okay and for lorentz invariance you know that the equation which is linear in hamiltonian h or you can say the energy e must be also linear in the momentum p because in the four vector formalism you know that the momentum four vector p mu this is actually equal to what this is p and the fourth component you know is i e over c so if the equation is linear in hamiltonian or energy e definitely this should be also linear in momentum p but this requirement was not fulfilled uh, in case of kg equation so uh, dirac thought on this line and uh, starting from the uh, schrodinger time dependent equation he arrived at a particular result particular wave equation which is actually Uh, known as dirac equation and this equation uh, actually fulfills all the drawbacks all the shortcomings of the clean gordon equation okay in fact uh, you can say that this dirac equation is the first uh, actually i have written here this word first two times so erase it so this dirac equation is the first successful relativistic wave equation market in and the lessons uh, learned from its success have been a great help in understanding uh, and the other relativistic wave equations okay so you uh, although the clean gordon equation was devised earlier than dirac equation but uh, a successful relativistic first first successful relativistic equation is treated uh, as dirac equation okay in fact uh, it is a basic feature of the relativistic quantum theory that uh, particles with different spins are described by different wave equations it means uh, what wave equation will be suitable for a particular particle that completely depends on the spin of the particle okay and uh, you have learnt earlier that uh, the particles having zero spin or uh, integral spin or you can say spin 1 so these particles are actually described by a second order wave equation we have seen that the clean gordon equation is a second order wave equation and uh, uh, the particles having zero spin is actually governed by the clean gordon equation so you can say that uh, if the particle has zero spin that will be governed by a second order wave equation and similarly the particle having a spin 1 
आर ऑल्सो गवर्न बाय द सेकेंड ऑर्डर वेब इक्वेशन इनफैक्ट यू कैन सी आई हैव मैंशन इट इट इन टेबुलर फॉर्म दैट इफ द पार्टिकल हैज जीरो स्पिन देन द वेब इक्वेशन फॉर सच पार्टिकल्स हैविंग जीरो स्पिन इज एक्चुअली नोन एज क्लीन गोल्डन इक्वेशन एंड इफ द पार्टिकल हैज स्पिन वन देन द वेब इक्वेशन फॉर सच पार्टिकल्स आर इक्वेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके यू नो द फोटोन हैज स्पिन वन एंड दैट इज गवर्न बाय द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके बट इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पार्टिकल्स हैविंग हाफ इंटीग्रल स्पिन और यू कैन से स्पिन हाफ पार्टिकल्स देन द के जी इक्वेशन दैट इज क्लीन गोल्डन इक्वेशन विल बी नॉट एप्लीकेबल इनफैक्ट एनी पार्टिकल हैविंग स्पिन वन ओवर टू इज डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय ए फर्स्ट ऑर्डर वेब इक्वेशन एंड दैट फर्स्ट ऑर्डर वेब इक्वेशन इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड डिराक इक्वेशन एंड वाइल इक्वेशन सो डिराक इक्वेशन एंड वाइल इक्वेशन बोथ आर एक्चुअली वेब इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर and these equations are applicable or these equations can be used to describe the half spin particle okay in this lecture our aim is to discuss in fact uh, this dirac equation in detail but uh, this is the first lecture on uh, dirac equation and in this first lecture we will talk only we are talking only about some of the basic facts some of the introductory facts okay in fact in the next lecture uh, we will see how what is this dirac equation how it is derived what are the important applications of this this equation we will discuss uh, in the forthcoming lectures okay in fact uh, it is seen that the different order wave equation for different spin particles are actually the consequence of the intimate relationship between the spins and the statistics okay so it is found that for a that a given relativistic wave equation uh, can be quantized or consistently quantized using only one type of statistics either bose einstein statistics or fermi dirac statistics in fact this fact will be discussed in very detail in the next chapter on this in this playlist quantum mechanics which is actually called uh, field theory and when we will actually study the second quantization or the field theory then we will see that uh, any wave equation will be quantized uh, by only one type of statistics and you know there are two type of statistics first one is called bose einstein statistics and the another is fermi dirac statistics okay so a particular wave equation can be quantized either using the bose einstein statistics or the fermi dirac statistics what i am telling you this will be clarified in the second chapter when uh, our a video will come uh, on the second quantization then we will see actually this fact okay in fact uh, which statistics uh, will be obeyed or which statistics uh, after using which statistics the equation will be quantized that completely depends on the wave equation okay so it is found that uh, when we talk about the clean gordon equation that equation can be quantized only when we will uh, follow the bose einstein statistics okay but uh, using the fermi dirac statistics you will see that this dirac equation will be quantized so it is a convincing proof by the field theory that uh, this fermi uh, that this uh, dirac equation is actually obeyed by the half spin particle okay here uh, i would like to uh, give you a very important information to you that actually a non relativistic schrodinger equation 
which is also viewed as a field equation that can be quantized using uh, either the bose einstein statistics or the fermi dirac statistics this is a very remarkable fact in fact the relativistic wave equation can be quantized either by the bose einstein statistics or by the fermi dirac statistics but the non relativistic schrodinger equation uh, can be quantized using either the bose einstein statistics or the fermi dirac statistics so uh, this was a, a very short introduction regarding this uh, dirac equation but as i have told you that in the next lecture we will see what is this dirac equation and uh, how we can derive it what are its important properties and uh, uh, applications okay so i think uh, you have enjoyed this is this very short introduction regarding this dirac equation